Hey guys, it's Daisy, and today I'm bringing you a gameplay for you guys, and I am using the KRM in this gameplay, and I almost happened to get 100+, plus, but of course I choked. But I thought that you guys would enjoy this gameplay, and today I wanted to talk about a story for you guys. This story is basically about a creepy guy at my last job. It all started when I first applied to this job. This was back in July of last year. That was when I first got to Jersey. As soon as I started working there, um, everybody, you know, introduces them themselves to the new person who works there just so you can be friends with the co-workers and whatever there's this one guy this man is like 45 50 years old probably he works at the optical store and it's part of the store where I was working but it wasn't necessarily he wasn't our employees they own their own business but this guy was just like the person I guess a receptionist to that to that place but their business was literally facing where the registers were so he you know when he had nothing to do all he could do was literally look at the cashiers and that's what he did literally was just look at the cashiers all day so as soon as I started working there everyone was being nice to me you know they were introducing themselves whatever and then this man he just starts staring at me and I'm just like alright like I kind of felt a little creeped out already he just kept staring at me I thought it was only me going crazy but then all my other co-workers was like yo he's staring at you a lot and I'm like yeah I know it's kind of weird so then one day he comes up to me and he introduces himself to me he's like oh hey oh you're very very pretty you know whatever whatever welcome whatever I hope you enjoy your new job I'm over there I work at the optical place if you ever need free contacts just let me know and I'll get you free contacts at first when I started working there I was just like okay this guy's just being nice to me you know he gave me a compliment whatever I'll take it so I said thank you you know I'll let you know so then at one point I was like yo I need some contacts and he was just being nice so I went he gave me free contacts one time then all of a sudden he was like asking me for my number and then I was like why do you need my number he's like oh you know whenever I get new contacts I could just call you and let you know and I'm like but why you know I work at this store there wouldn't be any need for you to call me because you'll see me every day that I'm here and he was just like oh you know just in case one day you're out and they come in on that day I'm like then I'll just come the next day and then I just leave whatever I'm like thank you and then the next day I come to work and one of my co-workers is like Daisy you gotta be very careful with that guy I'm like who they're like the guy at the optical I'm like why she's like because at one point he had a big 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 like obsession over me like he would try to get my number somehow using contacts or glasses as an excuse to get my number and then at one point he started following me everywhere and then if you don't step your foot right now he's not gonna stop He's gonna like start following you and start doing this and this and one time I actually told his manager what he was doing and he got in trouble for it and I was like what really she's like yeah so be careful with him I started asking all the other cashiers if that was true and they were like yeah that's true he starts hitting on all the cashiers and just try not to talk to him whatever and I was like okay at that point I just stopped talking to him I didn't look that way I didn't do anything and this guy literally like he would come to my register like there's so many registers he would buy like a snack and he would always come to my register and try to pay over there at my register and eventually he noticed that I was trying not to talk to him anymore so then he kind of backed off a little bit as a cashier you have a lot of customers daily who try to pay for stuff right so one day this lady comes to pay to my register she just tells me have you noticed that that guy at that store keeps constantly looking at you and I was like yeah I noticed I just ignore it she's like that man is disgusting he's like 50 trying to like look at somebody your age you're a beautiful young lady he should be trying to look at people his own age that man is disgusting whatever she's like you better watch out for that man because that's very very disgusting like that's very creepy I would be careful if I were you and I was like, yeah, I know I'm aware. I just ignore the, f I just ignore the situation is what I told her. So even a customer came up to me and noticed that and told me. Another situation was when there's this guy at my job who's like a janitor. He like cleans up or he works cleaning floors and mopping and sweeping and all that stuff. So one time he comes up to me, he's like, the guy at the optical said that he's in love with you. He was very sad that you stopped talking to him. I was like what now this is really creepy how can a 50 year old guy just say that he's in love with me i'm like he's probably joking he's probably just saying that the more i stopped talking to him like i just completely ignored him like as soon as i would leave work every day he would cat call me under his breath and just say really like a lot of disgusting things that would just really make me uncomfortable to the point where i just didn't want to work there anymore but obviously i needed the money and I just kept working there even though that bothered me for the whole eight months that I was working there. It just made me feel really uncomfortable. So after that I took like a month off of work and I came back 
and they didn't put me at the register anymore they put me in the liquor department of the store where it was really far away from that optical place he had no way of looking at me anymore and I was really happy the whole eight months that I was working there I've never seen this guy ever buy a lottery ticket as soon as they moved me to the lottery slash liquor department in the store he would go in there every day and start buying lottery tickets like just to be in contact with me a bit and that I was just like dude this guy doesn't get the hint like this guy's 50 like like I do not feel comfortable around this guy and he would just go in there and just keep buying lottery tickets then eventually they put me back on the register because the girl who was working at the liquor department and stuff she was on vacation or something and when she came back they put me in the cash register again so I was just like fuck my life like I'm back here he's back to like creepy looking staring at me again and I just I was just like dude I, I, I hate this job because of that like one day he comes up to me to my register he's like whatever i did to you i'm sorry i don't want you to be mad at me are you mad at me Is, did i do anything wrong and i just shook my head and i was like no everything's fine uh every day I, I swear to god one of my coworkers would be like that man is asking why you're mad at him that man says he's in love with you that man said this about you that man said this about you i was like yo I, I'm just done with this whole thing. One time, they let me out early at 7, which is around the time that this guy goes home too. So I see this guy leave, whatever, I didn't even remember seeing this guy leave, but I know he leaves like around 7 usually, but I didn't pay attention at that point. So he leaves, and my manager tells me I can go home like at 7, usually we close at 9, so it was 2 hours earlier because it was a slow day. I walk out, I see him standing outside the store looking at his phone, and I'm like, oh my god, please. I'm trying to walk faster so he doesn't notice me. I walk past him, and then he starts talking to me, and I'm like, oh my god. And then he starts saying, I don't know what I did wrong, like, I don't want you to be mad at me, I really like you. I'm in love with you like every day that I see you I just get happy blah 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 start walking home and this dude is literally following me following me so I start getting close to the gas station and don't Dunkin Donuts because I start getting scared and I try to walk as fast as I can but this guy's literally still behind me and I'm like can you stop following me like I'm like can you stop following me I'm very uncomfortable with you and just stop like just stop overall just stop this guy doesn't listen. He starts still following me, trying to tell me that he's sorry, he doesn't want to make me mad, and he loves me, and whatever. He's still going on with this crap. And I'm just getting really aggravated. So he still follows me, and I'm almost home, and I don't want this guy to know where the fuck I live. So instead of going home, I start walking in a totally different direction, and I just keep walking, keep walking to like where the stores are and stuff, so then he, you know, he doesn't try anything, and at the same time, he doesn't know where I live. So eventually he stops following me, he goes, takes his bus or whatever home, and then I look around, make sure he's still not following me, and then I head back home, because that, that was just scary, like I don't want this guy knowing where I live. And that was the end of it, after that I think I worked at that place for one more month, and then I quit, and then now I'm working at a new place, which I'm so happy about because I don't have to deal with that creepy guy anymore. I don't know if this really counts as sexual harassment in the workplace because he just made me feel really uncomfortable but yeah this was just I mean I don't even know like as a as a girl you guys don't know how uncomfortable it feels to have a guy just do this type of stuff to you especially if he starts following you like that's just that's just a whole different level but anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this gameplay and let me know your opinions on this guy uh, Thank God I never have to see him again unless I go shopping in that store. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this gameplay and I'll see you guys in the next video. So, bye guys.